Hello guys, welcome to Technonator YouTube channel. Today I'm here with new AI related video. Today I'm going to show you how to create an iOS application icon with using SDXL on ConfUI. This is not the complicated process. You only need to download an iOS application item uh, icon template uh, and graphic editor. Uh, it can be Adobe Photoshop or relevant other uh, graphic editors. Today I'm gonna use GIMP as graphic editor. You can download it uh, for macOS or your Windows machines or Linux OS. And also you can you can find the downloading uh, in the description area. Let's start. I'm creating a new image, uh, 1024 pixel with white background. And also I'm going to open uh, iOS application template icon as a new layer. This is the iOS application template icon. icon. The icon is bigger than my uh, image, so I need to resize it. So it is easy to do. So also I need to move to center this image. So yes. At this point we need to change mode of this layer actually. So this is the uh, iOS icon template layer. We, we, we should change the mode to erase. Now, with this process, we will get an alpha area in the dimension of the iOS icon. Now we can export it as PNG file. Now, uh, all done, uh, so we can return back to ConfUI. This is uh, one of the common workflow for the generating image on the SDXL. So I'm gonna change this workflow. So first of all, I need to remove this. So I'm gonna add where encoder for in painting and also image loader. Normally these two nodes enough to uh, create an in painting workflow. So I will add some extra notes to show you how the process will work actually. These are not necessary but these are Show us the process, how the process working. So only we need to do connect these nodes to each other. This mask and also mask is here. Yes. 
and the we should connect latent output to sample and also we need y to here so also I'm gonna change the colors of the nodes to purple to recognize the new workflow easily and also I'm gonna change that value this value to zero and I will upload the yes our icon template yeah it seems everything is okay so we need to uh, select an prompt to generate our first item I'm going to use this as prompt and use this as negative prompt. Please don't forget the results are very depend on your prompt. So we can start the process actually it takes time so uh, because I'm recording a video and also this is the MacBook Pro i9 i9 Intel machine so which is not powerful enough to kind of process so I will make fast forward this part actually Here is the result of the process. I want to show you other icons that I created in the same way for you to see what can be done actually with this process. Here are another examples I got with, I created with this process. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you like the video. Thanks for watching. See you later.